Hello everyone and welcome back to Stationeers. Let's see. I think today what we are going to do is actually hook up these two ACs since they are generating cold air and we are going to hook it up to the coolant network I think. Yeah. But first we have a bit of a reflooring up here to do. Let's see, let's put these away because we are going to pick up these floors. Uh, anything else? That's it, I think. So, we need to pick up these claddings. And I will replace them with geometric walls. There we go. And that's it. So, let's see, we should have some in here. Yes, perfect. Uh, 15 and versus 16, perfect, we have enough. So... Straight pieces go... Um, here... Yes, like this... Okay, and then I think I will have a straight piece here as well. So we can have a corner right here. So corner piece like this. Yes, and here and in here. Okay. Now we're just going to need, yeah, we have enough steel. Perfect. So this is what I had in mind. Mm. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Not the prettiest, but this will do. Okay, so the flooring in here is complaint. You know what? I think I will replace the gratings here. For these, I think we need uh, the crowbar. Yes. Yeah, and we need the cladding. So the actual base is uniform looking. And might as well place them here, down, down here as well. There, there, and there. And later I will replace the actual corners with geometric walls so as I was saying I would like to deal with the cooling situation let's see um, let's put things away we don't need cladding will go here plastic sheets can go here and this one can merge with this one also yeah we have the Solar panels outside damaged at this point. Let me just quickly... Mm, come on, we have so many things to do. You know what, I will start making insulated pipes. Any second now. First, yeah, we need iron for the duct tapes and then... Where is it? Yeah, silicone is right here. Well, only 33. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Uh, let's see, we need insulated pipes. I just, I'm just going to use all the silicone for this one. As for you, give me um, duct tape. As usual, I am not going to turn my back on this one. I think I will make mm, six, maybe. Or maybe uh, a little bit more, I think. Yeah, two more, two more, there. that's it. And done. So while we are still making the pipes, I will go outside and fix the solar panels. And since this is 
bit boring, I will be back with you in a minute. Okay, so the things are prepared. Let me take a drink of water. In fact, how is the water doing these days? Uh, we have uh, something. Ah, 500 moles inside and nothing outside. How is the oxygen? Oh, speaking of oxygen, we need to switch out one of the filters. So we have lots of oxygen, so I'm, I'm going to keep making water. And these are now done. Let me pick up as much as I can and make one heavy oxygen filter. So you go in there, you there. Give me oxygen heavy filter. Thank you, perfect. Do we have any no, that's all the inserted pipes we have. We are going to need one pressure regulator. Might as well take these radiators. We will need one passive vent. The pipe kit. Anything else? I think that's it. So, how is this one? It's just finished. Perfect. You come with me. And we have one heavy filter, so I bet is this one. Yep, exactly. So you are going in the furnace. Uh, let's see. How do we do with this? And how do we deal with this? Let's see. So the idea is that during the day, these guys are actually generating cold air in here, but now it's vented out. If I hook it up to the coolant pipe, it would actually help out with cooling. Uh -huh. So first things first, let's bring it along. And this will have to be switched out to insulated pipes. I will leave the vents on for now. I will only switch those out to pipes once we are actually ready to switch, uh, deal with everything. So you are going to here. Uh oh. I think that piece of pipe is going bye bye. So. Let's see, you are going to go here and you are going here. Can I save that pipe? No, I think it fell in the lava. Yeah, it's gone. Make sure, yeah, it's done. So, uh, that was just one piece of pipe, half a gram of iron, so it, I think it's going to be okay. Now, here's the thing. Uh, let's see how to explain what my mind is. So, we only really need to use the radiators during the day, no, during the night. So, we, I think we need to separate this from the rest of the network. Let me just pick up these radiators. Let's see, uh, we need, yeah. The wrench, it's already in my hand. So you are going to do this. And then I think I will do this. This is going into the AC right now. So this will be switched out. Yes. Okay. Since we are cooling the base at this point, let's make sure we can keep doing that. Very inefficiently, but we can do it. So, 
I am going to have this one go all the way to the furnace heaters. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, we have not enough room around here. This one actually has to be insulated, because if it wasn't insulated during the day, these pipes would lose the coldness real fast. And the whole idea is to have these pipes act as coolers during the day. Uh, we don't have enough pipes for this. Also, yeah, can't go up here. We will have to go up a little bit later. So you are going to curve this way. Or maybe we have enough pipes if I replace those radiator pipes with regular pipes. Let's see. Uh, yep. So you come with me. And then we are going to have just regular yellow pipes here. Let's make sure we don't break open the base. There we go. So we are going to use these normal pipes for now. And let's just make a straight piece here so we can actually place the radiators. There we go. Next up. Uh, I think we can save a bit of piping if I do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once we are ready to go, we can just replace these vents with pipes. But for now, they will have to operate normally. Yes. So we need to set up a automated system that switches the cooling to these radiators during the night. Mm, you know what? I think we can do it here. Splitting off the coolant here and use this IC chip. Mm. Okay, first things first, let's set up the pressure regulation. Pr pr regulation, what I mean. So, um, how much pressure is in these pipes right now? Mm -hmm. One and a half kilopascals, one and a half hundred kilopascals. Let's see. I think I will set it to one, one megapascal. Can I put it? You know what? Since we are having the radiators moved there, I think I will have the pressure regulation here. So let me do just that. You will. We need to pick up the radiators. Making sure we don't break open the base. Because the wrench is actually deconstructing the frame, so we need to be very careful what we are pointing the cursor at. So, we are going to have a back pressure regulator, yes. You are going to go this way. Make sure, might as well place an insulated pipe since we have so many. There we go. And we are going to set this to 1 megapascal. Uh, there we go. Which is going to be 1000 kilopascals. Okay, we have. Um, I think we have power here, but I'm not completely sure let's first things first let's take care of the actual radiation big 
because right now this one has the coolant and it's heating up because we are cooling the base. So first things first, let's have a split here, yes, and then we can just have these regular yellow pipes here with some radiators. Okay, so until we set everything up, I will have these temporary radiators here, so we can actually keep operating the coolant as we are doing it right now. So these radiators on the inserted pipes are temporary. So we are going to have a digital valve here, and if yeah, if there is no sunlight, or maybe I will use a gas sensor. Do we have a gas sensor on this network? Let's see. Mm, I don't think so. Or maybe if... Mm, yeah, I think once these are off, then I can switch on the digital valve. Yeah, so we don't really need to do too many uh, changes to this code. So for now, we can go back inside. So we are going to need a couple extra regular pipes, then a digital valve. Okay, so let's see. Um, da -da 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 -da. Where is the iron? Oh, it's in here. So please give me, first things first, a digital valve. We need copper. After that, we need regular pipes. So you come in here, then we need, yes, just regular old pipes. What else? The code is going to be easy to change. We have the laptop. What else? Maybe the pressure regulator is the pressure regulators can be a little bit slow, so I think I will build one of those. Okay, that's enough pipes, I think. So let's give me one more pressure regulators. Yeah. So I will double up the outlets for the pres uh, back pressure. What else? What else? Uh, let's deal with one thing at a time. Also, I'm happy to see that this one is actually working. What about the beacon? Yeah, it's on. Perfect. So. Oh, also, the sun is coming up. I'm in the black hole. So we can actually turn off our filter. So, let's see. Pressure. The power is going this way. So. Back pressure regulator coming a second one here. Let's use this one for now. And then hook it up to the network like this. And let's make sure we are setting it to the correct pressure, which is 1000 kilopascals, which is of course one megapascal. Yeah, they are correct. And they are both back pressure, back pressure regulator, back pressure perfect. So I think at this point, these two are ready to be hooked up to the network. Oh, I didn't check where they are. Okay, if we are careful not to touch the yellow line, we are going to be okay. The cable cutters, 
There we go. Uh, at this point I will... Yeah, I can switch these on. I'm going to place the passive vent from here. Anyways, I think we can... Yeah, we can place... Let's see, where is it? We can pick this one up. And this one. Replace it with a digital valve. Doesn't matter which way it's facing. Let's just make sure that we can actually operate it manually if we have to. So, we can place these pipes. I think I will do this. Mm, no, we need... Or maybe... Yeah, I think I can place this one like this. The cable can curve that way. Okay, so far so good. Now, let's see, we have... Nine, I think. Oh, oxygen low. Let's turn back the filter and then turn it off. I know I can write an IC code for the filter, but... Mm, I don't really want to waste an IC chip for that. So, let's see, this is our... Coolant radiator for the night time. And we have three more radiators we can place. Mm. Ah, it's fine. Okay, we can hook up this one to the furnace heater network. Right this way. Mm. Let's just go up. With the cable cutters going like so. Oh yeah, we have a gas sensor, sensor, so that's perfect. Yeah, we can do a branch equal. Mm -hmm. So if the outside gas temperature is... No, wait. Okay, so first things first, uh, what we need to do actually... Put our tools away. No, don't fall in the lava, please. Take out this. Oh, we can switch this one off as well. So, you go there, open, put it inside, import the code, and you can put this one back. We just need the code to work on. You don't need the chip itself. Okay, you can now close, and I will work on the code inside. So, let's see, do we actually have a device slot? So, device to sensor... Yeah, we have three open slots, so perfect. We can, we have room for the digital valve. Uh, yeah, I can go inside and work on the code. So, let's see. Everything's okay. Nothing gets blown up. We are making water. Burns are fine. Also, since the devs fixed the little glitch that they were, you know, going back between damaged and not damaged. So that's great. Oh yeah, we need power for the What's it called? The pressure regulation. So you are going to go into the red network. We do not touch the yellow network. That is forbidden. So, let's see. Let's work on the code. Let's drop the laptop and start editing. So, we actually have a uh, outside gas sensor, yes. Uh, and the digital valve, which we are going to put on 
Ilias uh, Digital Valve on Device 3. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, where can I add this little extra argument? Let's see. So we are going to need to check the outside temperature on the gas sensor. If that uh, pressure, if, if the temperature is uh, lower, yes, if it's lower than the temperature of the gas in the coolant pipe, yeah, so we need to reach, uh, read the coolant pipe temperature as well. I think we have an analyzer upstairs. So, yeah, we have an analyzer, perfect. We can hook it up later. But the issue is I don't know where to add this extra thing into this code. Uh, let's, see, let's start. Sleep for one second. We are checking the tank pressure. You know what? I think I will write a completely new code for this. I don't trust. It doesn't matter if it's uh, if uh, one device is being operated by different codes. So this was the wall cooler code, right? Yes. So we can actually clear this whole code. So let's see. For this to work, we need to set the alias. We need the gas sensor on device zero then we need alias the uh, yeah pipe pipe analyzer on device one then we need the digital valve on device two I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Sure, so let's start the code. First things first, we are going to load into R0 from the gas sensor the temperature variable. Okay, and then we are going to load into R1 the from the pipe analyzer the same and then we are going to have let's see um, there we go functions we need a branch can I yes so branch uh, branch less than maybe yeah so we are going to branch less, less than so if let's see when do we want to uh, if the gas inside um, if the outside gas is colder than the one in the pipe then we can open for radiation yes so if r0 is less than r1 then we can jump to the turn on section of the code i think so if the outside temperature is less than the pipe temperature yes then we can turn on we need to make this one extra sure so it turn on then we can set the 
digital valve on setting to one and then jump to the start otherwise we are going to set the digital valves on setting to zero yeah that's it i think and then jump to the start and we can have a sleep one command at the start so let's make sure everything is you know what let's name the variables as well ads uh, atmo damp which is going to be r0 then alias uh, coolant damp which is r1 so r0 place then coolant temp r1 replace so that's this now it's easier to read so we first we sleep for one second so we don't cycle this code too many times first load the atmospheric temperature from the gas sensor then we load the coolant temperature from the pipe analyzer uh, Let's make sure that we are using the syntax correctly. So BLT, which is not the sandwich. BLT. So branch to C. Uh, if A is less than B. So if the atmospheric temperature is less than the coolant temperature, which means the radiators would actually be useful then we can yeah we can turn on the digital valve if it's not less than basically if it's greater than then we need to switch off the digital valve because at that point the radiators would actually heat up the coolant and i think that is all we need to do confirm so we can export this code to this chip you can be closed and go in my pocket and I think we have a IC housing upstairs uh, yes perfect so far so good now where can I place this housing also let's arrange things a little bit better this one can go here Don't I have one extra device, a uh, tool somewhere? Let's see, wrench. Yes, yes. And drill. I think I'm missing something. I don't like it. Yes, we have the two cables. Hmm. I don't like that I don't I'm missing some tools because I think I might have dropped it. Or was I using it for the duct tape? I will have to check back on the footage to make sure. So anyways. Where can I place this chip? Hmm. Can I place it somewhere? I think I can I will place it here. So the housing will go here. Let's hook it up to the network. So with the cable cutters. Just like this. There we go. Oh. Don't fall down. <laughs> Okay, so the chip go in here, initialize it for a second, perfect. Okay. Also, yeah, we need the pipe analyzer as well, which is going on the coolant pipe, yes. So you are going to go, almost had it, just like this, turn on, and you are going 
there we go so we are actually reading what's inside this perfect now let's see we need to set this with the screwdriver so the gas sensor is gas sensor perfect then we need pipe analyzer pipe analyzer perfect and we need a digital valve digital valve so if i turn that housing on this should turn on i think yeah perfect and we are radiating that heat from the base we are sinking into this in these radiators perfect okay so technically if we start dumping the coolant into the coolant pipe then it will become colder than the outside air <coughs> and this should turn off yeah so we can replace these uh, what's it called passive vents with pipes but we only have two pieces of pipe and we need three so let's start with this one uh, we need the wrench and then you are going here so we need one more piece of pipe can i uh, i don't think we have any we can actually pick up Oh, yes, I think we do. Also, we need to make sure that this one is actually not overpressurizing. So far, it's holding. The only way we get gas into this one at this point is with the surface uh, the furnace heaters. So I think I will reclaim this one. Also, we can place this uh here so you can go in the place of this one mm, let's make sure we are not actually dropping anything in the lava there we go so t-junction now let's hopefully once we start dumping cold air, this one I actually recognize that the only way to check that if we stay outside during the day, so I think I will do that. But first, let's sort this one out. So we will need, uh, I think we can just use regular pipes for this one. We don't really need... Also, I don't know if it comes through in the recording, but the beginning of each song is starting to be a little bit jittery. Anyways, pipe. I think I will make two regular pipes. Then here we go. Also, you can turn off. And I think... While we are waiting for daytime, I will go for a mining trip because, as I said, we are running low on steel and maybe a little bit of iron wouldn't hurt as well. So, let's see. No, we are going to put these on the pressure regulator side. So, you go here and we can replace this with a regular pipe. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, as I said, I think I will go for a mining trip and look for some steel materials. Also, we have quite a bit of junk in the inventory. I will drop this nitrite ice. We don't really... Whoa! Is there oxygen in it? Mm, good to know. Okay, so we have some coal and iron. I think I will drop what I don't need on me straight uh, away in here. So the duct tapes, 
passive than the pipe. I will keep the data disk because it's very small, I don't want to lose it. Uh, maybe I should get some silicon as well. But otherwise, I think we are okay. Yeah, so everything stays in here. Yeah, so we are going to go for a mining trip and I will be right back with you in a minute. Okay, we are back. I did step in lava for a second, so our suit is now permanently damaged, but I think we are going to be just fine. So, let's pick up some of our stuff. Uh, let's see. And put this here. And I think I will put... Also, what the... Hmm. It looks like these lights are now shadowing lights. Oh, good to know. Anyways, as I said, we are going to put our stuff in the cupboards. And the sun is coming up. So let's make this quick. Let's turn this on. First things first, I will melt the non-steel, non-alloy stuffs. So, yeah, we are making silicon. A little bit more, eight more, there we go. So silicon needs, I think, see, 900 Kelvin. And right now we have less than that. So we can put in a bit of hot gas. Mm, this will be enough. And this is now, yeah, this will give us silicon. Thank you. So you can go up. No, we are not strong enough. You can go there. Next up. So this is the steel. So I, next, next thing I think I will deal with the iron. Thank you. I accidentally st uh, stopped the output. Almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this will give us the iron. Hmm, not bad. Now, next up we are going to... You know what, let's do the copper as well. There we go. And since we are here, might as well do the nickel. There we go. And the silver. Perfect. Lead. Might as well. There we go. And now we can do the steel. So, first things first, let's do the iron. Thank you. Okay, now it's poking through here, so we need to wait a little bit. There we go. We are processing the iron, and after that we are going to process the coal. But first we can take a sip of water. Uh, how is this? Almost 500 more, so I think I will switch this one off. 
and bring it inside later. So I think we can put down the coal. There we go. Also, the music is re acting real strange these days. I don't know why. Anyways, this will give us 400 grams of steel. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, the pressure inside is now real high, so I think I will vent all this. But we have a couple extra ingots. And our mining bot is now empty. Perfect. So I think I will just put these in here for now. In you go. A U3 as well. Okay, so let's check on that digital valve in a second. Mm, I will keep this one going, I think. This one I will deal with later. Anything else? How is the CO2 filter now? 23% still. So I think we are actually using the, yeah, we are using the heavy filter. Maybe I can reset it somehow. If I take it out and put it back in, maybe that will make it use that one first. Anyways, we should be uh, making the hot gas any second now. Can I do anything until then? I don't think so. Yeah, let's just go outside and wait for it. Yeah, the black hole is coming up. So we are, we should be starting to make hot gas any second now. Let's see, what is the outside temperature now? Yeah, there we go. Also, yeah, I switched these out, so we need to restart these. So, yeah, the digital, digital valve is off. Yeah, let's turn the filter off. So, let's see. Yeah, it's cooling down. Uh, not cooling down, but it's keeping it at a relatively low temperature. That's great. So I think we can actually cool the base during the daytime at this point. Now let's make sure that these back pressure regulators are doing their job. And we are over 1 MPa. And there is an external pressure way over the ambient pressure. So the normal pressure outside is... Oh, leg spike. There we go. So the normal pressure is 52 kilopascals and here it's 55. So yeah, it is actually venting out, but not fast enough. You know what, I think it's going to be okay because it's not going f up fast enough. So it's not going to reach the critical pressure before the actual heaters turn off. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Also, the coolant temperature is still colder than the outside temperature. So the digital valve is off, perfect. So I think this system is actually working. There we go. Let's see how it goes inside. Let's see. Yeah, it's getting cooled a little bit. Yeah, it's getting cooled. Perfect. So we are actually cooling during the day. Very good. Now, since these lights are now shadowing lights, I think I will place some down here as well. In fact, we can place some in the greenhouse too. 
So let's see. Uh, before I do that, I think we are pretty much out of time, I'm afraid. Okay. So I think I will leave the episode right here and we are going to deal with other stuff in the next one. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.